Okay, so we're going to be looking at our last lesson um, on our syllabus. Um, it's a little bittersweet, isn't it? Because it's our last lesson and we're not together physically in the classroom at school at co-op. But isn't it amazing that we have... Um, these resources that we have YouTube that we have so many ways where we can continue learning um, so I'm looking forward I think it makes us appreciate more the time <clears throat> just like it says right here grateful <laughs> we're grateful and it makes us appreciate the times um, that we were together uh, it believe it or not it makes you appreciate school as well so anyways um, this is going to be the last video uh, we won't be looking at everything here so let me tell you before we start with a couple lessons here what you will do for homework this week so um, I only want you to work on let me pull these out really quickly here I only want you to work on nine B9 and 9B7. So, no need to do this. Um, so, only do 9B7, 9B9, um, no test, no actividad 18. Um, so really the only things you'll be working on are these two worksheets and your presentation via Marco Polo. And we'll just have to have our fiesta once all of this pandemic is over. <laughs> so, um, so let's start with, this is just a review of last week's. So we've already got that on the video lesson, so we don't need to work on that. Um, so why don't we look at Actividad 16, right here. So Actividad 16 en página 461. And for this, it's pretty easy because the only word, verb, that you're going to be using, because remember that we have saber and conocer, they both mean to know, but in different ways. And so um, the only verb that you're going to be plugging in here is conocer, and you just have to conjugate it. Use it in the correct form. Excuse me. So let's review this one really quick. So remember that saber and conocer means to know. And um, saber can be knowledge. For example, you know where an address is, um, you know how to get somewhere, you know how to use the computer, but skills would be something like you know how to play tennis, facts, okay, then um, conocer is when you're familiar or you're acquainted with a place, person. So right here it says, ¿Qué lugares conoces? What places do you know? Are you familiar with? Are you acquainted with? ¿Y a qué personas? And what people? Si una persona visita tu comunidad y tu escuela, ¿puedes ayudarla a conocer a diferentes personas y lugares? Escribe frases completas con las formas apropiadas del verbo conocer y la información necesaria. Después lee tus frases a otro o otra estudiante. ¿Conocen ustedes a las mismas personas y los mismos lugares? So what is all of this say? <clears throat> if a person visits your community and your school, can you help um, him or her to know 
different people and places or to get to know. Write down complete phrases with the appropriate forms of the verb conocer and the necessary information. After, read your phrases to another student. Do you all know these same, the same people and the same places? So let's do this so that we get a little bit more practice using conocer. Yo blank a muchos de los estudiantes en la clase de blank. Um, so all of these are going to, in English, if we translate it into English, it's going to say, I know many of the students in blank class. My friends and I <clears throat> don't know the secretary of the school. Um, wait, mis amigos y yo. Okay. Um, either we do or we don't know the secretary of the school. She is Mrs. Blank. Um, and so supposedly here you're supposed to, uh, write down, you know, your personal answer. But let's just focus on the blanks right here. Let's continue. My brother or my friend um, knows blank teacher from blank class very well. My friends know the park very know the amusement park very well. I know the store, uh, blank store, where I like to buy blank. My mother or father know uh, a place in the city, no blank place very well. It doesn't say very, just well. And then uh, number seven, if the person needs to use the computer, we know the software program um, or we know blank software program. Okay, so right here they just want you to know how to use the correct form. So right here, it's this one's easy. They've given you the answer, basically. It's in the yo form. So we know that it is conozco a muchos de los estudiantes. And you can either say just conozco because it's understood that you, that I know, right? Um, that I know many of the students that's in blank class. Or you can keep the yo in front. Yo conozco, I know. If you want to emphasize that you know. But it's already understood when you say conozco. That it's that you're talking in first person. Number two. And a good idea to do is for you to pause this video and try to figure out what the answers are. And then come back and see if you got them correctly. Okay, so then number two. Mis amigos y yo... Okay, so it would be conocemos. Number three, numero tres, mi hermano, it would be conoce, he, él. Number, numero cuatro, mis amigos, it would be ellos conocen. Mis amigos conocen. Numero cinco, Conozco. Número seis. Conoce. Because it's él. Or ella. Uh, si la persona necesita usar la computadora, nosotros conocemos. Ok. Y ahora actividad diecisiete. Saber o conocer. Trabaja con otro o otra estudiante para ver lo que sabe y conoce. Work with another student to know what um, he or she knows or knows. <laughs> so, what he or she knows or is familiar with, basically. <clears throat> La persona que trabaja 
en la biblioteca de la escuela. The person that works at the school library. ¿Conoces a la persona que trabaja en la biblioteca de la escuela? Do you know the person that works at the school library? Sí, la conozco. Yes, I know her. Es la señora Wilton. It's Mrs. Wilton. Es muy simpática. She's very nice. No, or you can answer, no, no la conozco. No, I do not know her or I don't know her. Okay, so right here they're using the verb conocer. Right here in this um, dialogue, they're using the verb saber. So, um, ¿sabes bailar salsa? Do you know how to dance salsa? Sí, sé bailar salsa. Yes, I know how to dance salsa. Me encanta. I love it. Or no, no sé bailar salsa. No, I don't know how to dance salsa. So right here, these will either fit in this section or this section, or they might fit in both. Either or. So right here we have blank's sister, someone, so and so sister. Uh, download information from the web. The name of a special song. I'm sorry. I thought it said especial. The name of a span a song. The name of a song in Spanish. Uh, digital cameras. The digital cameras. Spain or Mexico. Uh, La dirección de la República de so and so's email. A an interesting website. And uh, send pictures via the internet. Okay, so let's see which ones. Let's do some of these and see which ones fit. And what I would like for you to do is do these and then again pause this video so that you can figure out which one of these will fit. Either, um, let's do this one together and then we'll have you do them by yourself. Okay, la hermana de. Okay, so we'll, would that go in this section or this section? Well, we know that la hermana de is, again, um, someone that you would be familiar with or acquainted with. So it would go up here. Conoces a, do you know, we're going to take this out and we're going to plug this in. Conoces a la hermana de um, so-and-so? Do you know so-and-so's sister? Sí, la conozco. Yes, I know her. Es, and then you would plug in, it is so-and-so. She's very nice. Or, no, I do not know her. Okay, so now why don't you do these and then come back to this video and see if you got them correct. Okay, so for number two, bajar información de la red, would that go under conocer or saber? Well, that would be knowledge. So under saber. Sabes, we're going to take all this out. ¿Sabes bajar información de la red? Question mark. Sí, sé bajar información de la red. Me gusta. Right here you can make this your own. I like to. Let's see number three. El nombre de una canción en español. The name of a song in Spanish. Um, that would be... Be, what do you think that would be? What did you get for that one? That would be, again, knowledge. So, ¿Sabes el nombre de una canción en español? Do you know the name of a song in Spanish? No, no sé el nombre de una canción en español. No, I don't know the name of a song in Spanish. Or it could be, sí. Sé el nombre de una canción en español. Let's look at número cuatro. Las cámaras digitales. Again, you have to think about this. Um, for example, do you know 
Are they asking here, do you know about digital cameras like as a knowledge or do you think they're asking, are you familiar with them, with the digital cameras? Yes, familiar. So, ¿conoces las cámaras digitales? Sí, las conozco, because it's plural. Número cuatro, ¿conoces a España o México? No, no conozco España o México. Or, sí, conozco México, in my case, pero no conozco España. I do know Mexico, but I don't know Spain. Número seis, la dirección electrónica de blank. What do you think that would be? Would it be, are you familiar? Or would it be knowledge? Knowledge. ¿Sabes la dirección electrónica de blank? Sí, sé la dirección electrónica de so-so. What about número siete? Un sitio, un sitio web interesante. This one would be conocer. Conoces. Are you familiar with? Have you um, gone into the website and checked it out and um, seen what it's about and read it? And so, conoces un sitio web interesante? Sí, conozco un sitio web interesante. Now, this right here is a knowledge or a skill, I guess. Um, just like they say, do you know how to play tennis? Do you know how to send um, pictures um, using the internet? So, um, for example, do you know how to upload YouTube videos? Okay, so, ¿sabes enviar fotos por la red? Sí, sé enviar fotos por la red. Okay, so... If you have any questions with your project, um, text me, email me, call me, and um, I'll be talking to you soon.